United States would not accept this annexation under any circumstances. Several American destroyers are reported to be headed for the Barents Sea. Douglas Cuomo, chairman of the UN, announced at a press conference that we have never been... Fancy game of chess. Sure, yeah. Speed chess. Speed chess it is. That is a very odd draw. Well, I know that you don't like to lose, but you don't like it when I let you win either. A draw feels like an honorable compromise, no? One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try.
That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. Oh, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me.
It's your problem. Drink? Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I... am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. <sighs> Did you say homicide? Josh Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Have they said anything? Typical DPD, they don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan until this asshole found me. <laughs> so, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We got a call around 8 from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, the state he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets. Here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign? Have a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but... 
It wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for anal analysis. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... in the kitchen.
there are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... the living room. to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. It doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time.
Hey, what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, I'm going to check something. Just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Turn on the lights! Can't see shit. Damn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. They never 
your side. They're so fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Thank <laughs> you.